Hello everyone, welcome back to lesson number 32A, I believe it is, in the CPP for Beginners Beginning C++ Tutorial Series. Now, this is going to be a different type of series uh, for the next five or six, because I'm going to be doing what I call a Back to the Basics series, where I cover the things that I should have covered before but had various reasons to skip. We're going to be covering the string library, uh, character arrays, conversions, and uh, certain types of test. So without further ado, we're going to use strings in this episode. Uh, strings are a lot like a character array, almost exactly the same. Um, there's a few differences that we're going to be covering probably in the next episode or uh, maybe one or two after it. But to declare a string, you simply type string. Um, and we'll make a string called str. Now, just want to get rid of that. Strings have an interesting sort of a characteristic to them, where you can store pretty much anything in them. We can say something along the lines of string str equals uh, hello world, how are you? And it can store that whole sentence, and then when we see out string, or well, str, it'll output this whole nonsense, space and all. Um, and so you see there that it just lets us go right ahead and output it. Now, that's important because it it also allows us to do some other things. Uh, let's say that we make another one called um, string str2. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to say str2 equals str plus, and then we'll put a space, uh, and then a plus, and then say I'm doing fine. How are you? You know, or something along those lines. Uh, maybe we'll put a new line here. So that seems a bit more convincing. Um, and so then we just end that with a semicolon as well. And then this is going to make string 2 equal to uh, what string 1 was, but I forgot to output it. Um, so we're just going to output string 2 like that. And now we have these two lines. Despite our declaration being somewhat strange compared to other forms of a uh, uh, variable declaration that we've seen. Um, in this case, I want to mention that when you're working with characters, you're going to be using the single uh, apostrophes. When you're working with strings, it's always quotation marks, it's a, or the double apostrophe, if, I don't know, you don't know what a uh, quotation mark is. So, with that being said, you'll notice that anything contained in between these quotation marks is fine. But there is a little caveat here. Now, let's assume that I don't want to declare string 2 in a certain way. Let's say I want the user to uh, to input for it. So I'm going to say enter the contents of string 2. Okay, and we're just going to get rid of string 1 here because we don't really need it. And uh, then we're going to just C in for string 2. And let's say we just run this and the contents of string 2 will be hello world how are you doing today notice that all we got there was hello and this is something that I didn't mention to you guys up until now because it wasn't really necessary for me to mention it and what I'm going to say here might kinda improve your coding ability a little bit see in only takes in information until a blank space. So 
obviously we need to do something that's not going to be just a normal CN. And luckily for us, there is just such a thing. It's called get line, and it quite literally gets the entire line that we're working with. And in this case, you can either uh, explicitly declare the size of the buffer. You'll see people do something like that, 256, and then the name of the thing. I just like to type C in um, because it treats it just like a C in. And then the variable that you're going to be get lining. So in this case, we're going to get line and we're going to use a standard C in buffer and that's going to be put into string two. And then we're just going to see out it and we'll use the same idea. Hello world, how are you today? I said something like that, right? And as you can see, now it works jolly good. Okay, so that's just simple IO with string. And at this point, I'm sure you guys are like, oh, there's, there's more new syntax we have to learn. You know, this, this seems a lot more like it's a, a function, which it is. Um, you know, why is it so different? And the reason why is because strings have a lot of functionality that are going to be strange to you. I want to show you guys something. We're going to make a string, and we'll call it a string str3 and str4 and we're going to said actually you know what I'm going to do it separate and we're going to say both of these equal hello world okay right you see that I just copy pasted it I, there's no trickery here okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say if str3 equals str4 I'm going to see out there equal and else we're going to see out um, they're not equal so as you can see we have a oops we have a very simple if statement here and if these two things that certainly look equal are equal then we're going to get it saying they're equal. Um, oops, and I forgot to... Uh, I forgot to do this in a proper way. Um, okay, let me delete all this first, and then we'll recompile that, just in case you didn't see. Okay, so in this case, they are equal. And that's a beautiful thing. Um, but let's assume that we have uh, a user setting these and a user types in capitals in one and lowercase in the other. Now they're not equal. And little syntactical errors like that are going to be entirely too common. Um, you're going to see a lot of little things like that throwing off strings. So in our next video, what we're going to do is we're going to be getting used to working with strings, talking a little bit about character arrays and why they're useful as well. And then we're going to deal with uh, some of strings internal functions. Uh, those can be a lot of different things. Um, I think I'm going to keep it mostly basic. Uh, I think we're going to touch on string concatenation. We're going to talk about string copying and uh, string compare. And I think that's all I'm really going to teach you guys as far as strings go. Then we'll hit string stream for validation. And then I think we'll kind of jump back into where we were going. And then we'll hit our case studies. It'll be about lesson 40, 45 when that's all over. And at that point, I think that you guys will be very proficient programmers. So for now, I'm going to leave this off right where it is. Uh, I am Damien. This has been another installment of CPP for Beginners uh, tutorials. Thank you.